So spoilers. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen this, guys, get on out of here. Let's skip ahead to the next review or whatever happens. Mm. Uh, so Jesse Plemons was a much bigger player in this than I think anyone expected. Yeah. No, I didn't mean that as a joke on his weight. Yeah. Um, but yes, he, he is one something that people are singling out is the fact that he's definitely gotten a little bigger since, uh, didn't since bother the show me. wrapped up. Didn't bother me. Well, because he's playing someone in his like, young 20s, I think, okay. in the show. Yeah. And it didn't bother me at all either until I saw a screenshot. Then I was like, oh, yeah, wow, he does look different. Um, but I like the way they introduced him very slowly. There's that scene where he's looking through the cage and mm. you only get parts of his face. And That's uh, the visual stuff. That was the, in the non-spoiler part, the visual mm. thing that Vince Gilligan brings to the table. Mm-hmm. And it, it, but it was also a good way of easing you into the new appearance of these characters, I think. Um, it, I mean, Aaron Paul as well, he definitely looks older, I think, than he did in that show. When you, Especially it, for season one. Especially season one. That's the thing. I don't think it matters when it's him playing what he's been through. You're like, man, that shit fucks him up. Yeah. But um, yeah, when you get him playing... Like so, Walter White shows up in this. They're playing, I think, roughly around season two. Okay, and you're like, they're, they're, I don't know so much. Yeah, but um, it still works. It does. Yeah, it does. It, you you can't look into it too much. Yeah, I feel you got to kind of let it just kind of gloss over. And do you uh, think uh, Brian Cranston being in this added anything? No. Uh, I yeah, I was really f- kind of like. You know, the the initial thought that came to me was like, wow, Brian Cranston kind of came back to the role for that. Like, wouldn't you want something more meaty? Wouldn't you no. want something? I, I thought it was, once again, kind of like we've we've seen this better in the show. Yeah, that's specifically what I, I thought was kind of like a deleted scene. Like, should they prob- I feel like they must have had something that would have been more thematically relevant that they could have chucked in. Um, like, I, I think the opening with Mike Ehrmantraut was was kind of cool. Just to, to remind you of their relationship, which I kind of blanked on a little bit. Yeah, same. Um, how important they were to each other. But but did you get that Brian Cranston's head was more shiny? <laughs> it was a bald cap, apparently. He didn't shave his head for this. I could tell there was something <laughs> up with his head. Yeah. I Honestly, I, can't, I, could, I was like, his head looks like more bulbous or something. Mm. More shiny looked like it had been digitally done, I thought. Yeah. Um, someone I, I really did like returning was Robert Forster, the vacuum... Salesman. Ah, oh, fantastic. Um, who passed away the day that this was released, yeah. which said uh, he starred in Jackie Brown, of course. Um, he was really great in this. Great scene. Yeah. Great scene. And uh, something we didn't really talk about in the uh, non-spoiler part was the use of tension. Mm. I think there's certain scenes in here that's really well done. And that was one of those scenes that mm. kind of ebbs and flows mm. with... Um, and that was so prevalent in the series, the tension, it yeah. was overhanging dread. Mm. And it was nice to have those little moments in here. Yeah. And and a, a big part of that was the introduction of a, kind of a nemesis for Jesse in this through uh, the uh, the welder, mm. um, who, who I liked was kind of like, you know, Jesse's kind of like the understudy to Walter White. And this guy was just like some small potatoes from that operation. Yeah. Um, I, I like the way they kind of retconned him into the story. And I, I thought he was really fun when they were pretending to be the cops. Yeah. Um, and then especially the the random shootout that they had. It was so clearly telegraphed mm. what he was going to do, but I didn't like necessarily see it coming. And I thought it was just kind of a cool way to show Jesse how he's grown, just using his brain to get out of this situation. The apartment shots, the apartment sequences in this really worked for me from Jesse getting into the apartment to searching around to the flashbacks to the altercation with the pseudo cops mm. like that all worked extremely well for me mm. and, and you know spoilers we were talking about in the non-spoiler the, the shot above above the the apartments yeah you know where you see yeah, like yeah, yeah. The, the map of the house or a mm. bird's eye view of the, that kind of like a blueprint for the minority report shot yeah. Uh, yeah i thought that was just fantastically done yeah yeah, yeah. like like such a a, a massive amount of effort for, mm. for just that one shot, really. Building a full you'd set, to yeah. you'd have to. Mm. Um, yeah, Robert Foster, re, uh, uh, Forster, really, really great. Um, you got Christian Ritter at the end. Yeah, that once, was that Once was again, good. Love, I love Christian Ritter. Uh, I loved her character. Mm. Um, but once again, I don't know, She it didn't quite work for me. Mm. I don't know, it was kind of like the dialogue seemed clunky. I guess my main takeaway was just like, oh shit, Christian Ritter was in this show yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. So yeah, I wasn't thinking about too much else, but I thought it was a sweet moment. 
Yeah, I mean, it was it was cool. I, I liked the motif of how it end. It sort of had the him in the car. Mm. Um, and compa- you know, in, in comparison to the end of the series, mm. I, I like that sort of visual image. Um, but you know, like it was fine. It was fine. But I don't. It didn't wow me. You know, it didn't wow me. So, how do you feel overall about um, Pinkman's little uh, added journey on here? Like the fact that he he escaped to Alaska. He evaded the the cops. He didn't hand himself in. He's abandoned his life and his parents and. Do you think that's a like an apt ending for him? It's an interesting, you know, one of the things I thought about immediately when this ended was like, wow, this guy's the bad guy in a lot of ways. Like, you know, I'm rooting for him. Mm. You know, this is the stuff Scorsese's talking about in all of his criticism of Marvel. It's like, this guy's killed people. He's selling drugs. He's, he's getting people fucked up. And... Uh, but I'm I'm on his side. Yeah, I'm rooting for him. I'm seeing the humanity and the decisions he's making. I'm seeing it, not always agreeing it, but I'm seeing it from his side. And that was always a great strength of the show was the moral gray area. And I think that was really really awesome. Mm. Like I, I really enjoyed that about this piece. I, I thought that it, it just made me question. It just made me question, like you know, what criteria you kind of. Um, form attachments with characters mm. and it's not always that they're heroic no <laughs> you know like this guy's like in this apartment looking around looking for money mm. you know and you're just like Wait, come on you're gonna find it man you're gonna find it Mm-mm-mm. you know I, I just think that's so fascinating that i and it's sort of almost like i'm thinking about myself and yeah i, I i've just i'm sort of rambling a little bit but I got a I got a kick out of that. You have been co- cooking meth for a lot of years. I mean, not not as good as Jesse. <laughs> I'm, I'm working my way up. Um, one final thing, I guess. But what about you? What about you in that? In for that question for yourself? I, I completely agree. Um, just being reminded before the movie and then kind of during the movie about all the things he's done. Um, it it it, it all it, the whole story from the show to this has done such a great job at selling why he's doing these things. So much so that you are just like you understand, yeah, why he continues to do these things. Mm. You, you, it's kind of hard not to be on his side, even though, yeah, like if this was just a, a story in a newspaper, he's the bad guy. He's yeah. very much the bad guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then he just gets that freedom at the end, and it's, it's like a sigh of relief. It's like, yeah, that guy suffered. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess my one, one one fun thing was I didn't catch who the the letter was to that he gave at the end to, to yeah Robert me Foster. neither I didn't say, right, I'm gonna me have to neither. look that I up that let us know in parents. the comments um yeah I, did, I I couldn't quite make it out but I thought he'd already had that moment with his parents so I wasn't really sure mm. yeah oh well. uh win for Netflix massive win mm. I think they'll get a lot of um a lot of views under their belt mm. I think they'll do a blast about that soon and will this spur on more Breaking Bad I hope not mm. hope that's it. I mean, would you want to see any more Breaking Bad? Uh, well, Better Call Saul's still going. I feel like maybe one day I'll actually get through that. But um, no, I've, I've, I had no interest in this happening, um, much as I like it and think it's great in retrospect. Um, and yeah, no, I, I wouldn't want to ask for any more. You don't want to see season 2.5 where we get Brian Cranston back, we get <laughs> Jesse, we tell an untold story between season two and season three. Definitely not that part. Although okay. I think it would be amusing if for the next like 20 years they kept bringing him back and trying to make him yeah. look young, <laughs> just shooting these little short bits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So overall, I'm, I'm, I actually really, really like this. Yeah. Really, really like this. Nice. It's- one of the be- better Netflix movies I've seen. Yeah, which is interesting because it's so it's such a specific thing. It's so unique. This would be hard to do without Netflix, essentially. Yep. I mean, we've gotten things like the Sex and the City movies, the Entourage movie, mm. all awful. This wouldn't do well in the cinema. <laughs> no. This would bomb. No, no, no. 